Pepperdine Waves are moving on to the second round of the NCAA Women's Soccer Tournament, and I'm joined now by their goalkeeper, Hannah Siebert, who was one of the heroes in their win over USC. It was a shootout win. Congratulations, Hannah. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. All right, so you guys won in that shootout, end of regulation, tied and overtime. It's tied 1-1, so you go to the shootout where you guys win 4-2, but you made a pretty key save there to keep them from tying it up. But first of all, just tell me what it was like to be the goalkeeper in a shootout in a very important game. Well, shootouts aren't always fun to be in. <laughs> but I had a lot of confidence in my team that we'd be able to pull through. We were able to practice this past week, uh, practice the kicks and practice my saves, and I felt prepared for the shootout. So it is nerve-wracking, but preparation is confidence. The save on USC's fourth attempt when you guys were up 3-2, so a goal by them would have tied it up at 3-3, and who knows how long it would have kept going. But when you make that diving save, what was going through your mind? Um... Well, in the moment, it's just the reaction, and then after, I was just super stoked, super excited that I was able to make that save, and then right after, I saw that Courtney was walking up, and I had every confidence in the world that she was going to plant her ball in the back of the net, so I felt really good in the moment, and was pretty positive we had it after that. You'll play Illinois State now on Friday. What do you know about that team? We haven't discussed them yet. Um, we just prepare this whole week knowing that we're going to be facing a vicious opponent. So I don't know any specifics necessarily. We'll talk about that tomorrow at practice. But I do know that this level and this round, every team is dangerous, and I have every respect for them, and I'm just really excited for a great game on Friday. Both teams are coming off a pretty close match in the first round. They won 3-2. You guys winning in the shootout. Do you expect it to be kind of you know adrenaline running on both sides from the, the first round games? Yeah, I definitely expect that, um, especially in the position that we're both in. And uh, honestly, I just think that we're both going to be very ready for this game. We're go both going to be coming out swinging, and um, I think it's going to be a great and very well-played game. You mentioned practice a little bit earlier, but what's kind of been the vibe in practice? What have teammates been saying to each other, and what has Coach Ward been saying to you? Um, I'd say... We're all just focusing and getting ready for the next game. Um, Tim has said that he's seen some very good soccer this week, and he thinks that we're ready and we're, we're peaking at the right time. Uh, we're all just saying, hey, come on, let's do it. This is our time. Why not us? You know, so we just have every belief and confidence in ourselves, and uh, we're all just going all in. We're just ready for it. Is there a little bit of having to put the last game behind you and say, yes, it was a great, exciting win, but it's time to put that behind us and look to the next round? There's a little bit of that because it's really exciting and, you know, you feel like nothing can stop you after something like that. Uh, so it's kind of just coming back into reality and saying, hey, this is our next step. You know, we did what we did, but now we're moving on and we have to be present in the moment and be aware of what we're doing and self-conscious of what we're doing. So there's a little bit of that, yes. What would you like to see from your team on Friday in terms of just level of play, style of play um, against Illinois State on Friday? Um, honestly, as long as we play our own game and believe in ourselves, uh, I think we have a very high level of play and that we can hang and lead at any team that's out there. So I just hope and know that we'll be out there playing our best and um, I I think as long as we trust the person next to us that we'll be fine with, with whatever comes our way. All right Hannah well thank you so much for joining me and we can't wait to see what the Pepperdine Waves do on Friday we're really looking forward to it. Thank you I appreciate it.